Hello, this is Brian Rowe with Mythic MTG Tech, and today is my birthday. I'm leveling up to level 40, and as you guys know, I believe that cards should be played. So I've got some packs here that really just need to be opened. Uh, I'm going to be opening a Battle for Zendikar pack, a Modern Masters, the first set, and then a Unlimited Edition French Revised Booster Pack which has a super small print run. Uh, Wizards didn't exactly release the numbers for this, but talking to people from Wizards, I heard that these were very unpopular. And there's a chance to get cool things in there, like dual lands. So I'm going to have some fun here. I'm treating myself to a few packs uh, for my birthday. I've got a lot of cool stuff going on. Later today, I'm going to be playing in a Shadows Over Innistrad uh, pre-release. Um, and I'm actually uh, saving up right now for my first Magic Tattoo, uh, which I'll talk about a little bit later on the channel. So let's jump in here and have some fun. Uh, it's just slightly after midnight on April 3rd. Okay, we've got the Null there. Invoker. Sure Strike. Got Scout. Wave Wing Elemental. Real Thicket. Stalker. Snapping Gnarled. Evolving Wilds, very strong. Color fixing there. The Eldrazi Sky Spawner. Flying Devoid 2 1. Puts out a little Eldrazi token there. Grove Rumbler 3 3 with a nice landfall trigger. I actually like this a lot. Stonewalker. Coastal Discovery. Draw two cards with Awaken Opportunity here. I actually really like the Awaken decks a lot. And Endless One. This is off to a nice start. Very solid card in pretty much every format, all the way back to Legacy. Excellent. Ah, full Art Land. The one Endless one up here, I'm very happy so far. Uh, in Limited, I definitely like the Endless one. I like Coastal Discovery a lot. Uh, Evolving Wilds is good. Yeah, definitely go for the Endless one and maybe Coastal Discovery after that. Um, let's move on to the Modern Masters pack here. Hopefully we've got a Foil Goyf. Actually, I'd really just like a uh, Foil Cryptic Command would be good, or a V-Click. Good Moss Dog. Very Macabre. Frogmite. Thaliad. Petals of Insight. Great card. Sting Scorger. Very Mechanic. Theme of Resistance, Drag It Down. I like this card a lot in the multicolor decks. Pestermite was good <laughs> until we saw a ban recently. Lightning Helix, <laughs> wonderful removal. I've had this on Isochron Acceptor way too many times. It is a powerhouse there. And Auntie. Verdict. And Greater Gargadon. That's a solid card. This is a great EDH card. What I really like about it in particular is that it helps you shut off cap size and it helps you deal with board wipes or massive land destruction, that type of stuff. Very, very good card overall. In the foil spot here, we've got a Bailiff. I am happy with the Greater Gargadon. It's not a time going, but it's decent. We've got several cards in here that are going to see play. Uh, Greater Gargadon, I would definitely pick up in a draft situation. Lightning Helix, though, has got to be the best card and probably the first pick. Um, Stinger Scourge is not bad at all. Petals of Insight is great. Frogmite's decent. Uh, Moss Dog is actually not bad either. Some very good cards there. Okay, this is the one I'm really excited about. This is a pack that I've never opened before. So we've got Revised, and this is one of the few Revised packs that cannot be searched. Uh, let me see if I've got a regular Revised pack I can compare this to. I'm planning on doing a pack cracking over Revised and talking about a little bit of the history. Let me just... It's 
So I'm going to do a full video of talking about Revised when I open this pack here. I'm just opening this one because it's my birthday. I want to have some fun today. Uh, but one of the big important things about these is that uh, these Revised packs, it's possible to search them. There's a way to see through the clear cellophane here and see what's in the packs. I got this from a reputable source. I do not believe it to have been searched, but I like that Wizards move to this type of pack so that it's very, very difficult comparatively to search this without box mapping or something. So I'm super excited to open this pack. Uh, hoping to see a volcanic island. Hopefully we get something cool. Super excited about this one. Let's dive in here. French revised? Ooh, Hypnotic Spectre. Very nice. So, I think our rare is actually going to be the fourth card down, and what I'm going to try to do is move everything except the top four to the back so we see these last. Yeah, so we're going to see the rare towards the back there. <laughs> oh, this is when bears were bad. This Pegasus is a two, two for three casting cost. Creatures are so much worse. We got a swamp there. Circle of protection, green. Another swamp. This is a one, one green forest walker. Don't remember its name. This is a one, one merfolk with no abilities for one casting cost. Not exactly a curse catcher. Creatures are so much worse during this time period. Got a plains, lots and lots of basic land in these. Weakness, minus two, minus one. Got a forest here. Oh, my favorite artwork on island. I've got lots of this island, including a summer of this island. This is gonna go into my island collection, because this is definitely one that I don't have. Hypnotic Spectre. This is an old school powerhouse. This is one of the best creatures from this set. Discard a card randomly when you hit your opponent, or your opponent is the one who's actually discarding there. It's got flying, it's three casting costs. One of the best plays early on in Magic was just a dark ritual, this guy out there. Okay. Oh, Death Grip, I believe is what this is. Uh, two black. It's Enchantment, spend two black, counter a green card. This is back when your color hosers were super powerful. Rod of Ruin. Three mana and tap it to do a point of damage. And it's a forecasting cost artifact. A lot of mana there for one point of damage. Okay, let's move into the rare here. What do we got? Oh, wow. This is one of the worst cards we could possibly get. This is Life Lace. The laces are color changing cards. So I can turn a card into a green card. Terrible card. <laughs> it happens. Oh, Earthbind, Quentin Hoover. This happens to be one of those cards that I do collect the artwork on. Um, that's cool. I think the Hypnotic Spectre and the Earthbind, along with the island that I really like, are the three coolest cards out of this particular pack. It's been a long time since I've opened these guys. Got a Greater Gargadon and an Endless Worm. Endless one. Very cool. We did get some fun cards out of these packs. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I'm going to be out playing some Shadows Over Innistrad today and uh, then having a lot of fun uh, doing some board gaming here also for my birthday. You guys take care. Until next time, choose the cards wisely.